back to my channel, Reclaiming Jen, where moms can take a break from the busy mom life and focus on their own needs, wants, and goals. On my channel, I talk about online teaching and how you can work from home and make great money while doing it. In today's video, I want to talk to you about a feature in the VIP Kid Classroom, and this feature is the input box. What is the input box? Or probably the most important question is, how do I get rid of the input box? All right, this is a feature that I do not use at all in the classroom. I can't figure out why um, it's been included in the classroom. So if you use the input box on a regular basis, let me know in the comments below why you use it. Now, before we get started, if you are new to my channel, I would appreciate a like on this video, a subscribe. I have goals that I'm trying to meet with my YouTube channel and every subscription is appreciated. And I strive on this channel to post helpful information with integrity and authenticity. So if you would like to hear more about my content and you don't wanna miss my weekly uploads, please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you won't miss any of my content. All right, for this video, I'm going to head on over to my computer and show you in the classroom this feature called the input box. Now, it is a white box on your classroom PPT, your, power, your PowerPoint slide, and it, you can type in it, you can make it larger and you can type in it. Um, there are different colors of type that you can use and that's really what the feature is. So I personally use the whiteboard screen or the blank screen at the end of the PowerPoint in many of my classes, in almost all of my classes. And I also use the chat box regularly when I want to type a sentence or if there's something that, uh, if there's a sentence frame that the student is having difficulty with, or if I need to write the pronunciation out phonetically, I will type it in the chat box for the student. Now, just so you know, in case you're new to VIP Kid, um, many of the students take classes on iPads, and if they do take their class on an iPad, they cannot type back into the chat box, but they can see what you are typing. So, and if they are on a laptop computer, then they can type back to you. Um, I've never required my student to type in the chat box, but sometimes they like to. All right, so let's go head over to my computer to see how we use the input box or how we get rid of it if we've accidentally clicked on that icon that brings it up. Okay, here we are in my last class that I just finished today, and I thought I would show you how to use that input box or how to get rid of the input box. Now I'm speaking from experience because this new feature was added and I accidentally clicked on this here icon, which is the new input box. New, it's probably about a year old now, but um, there it is, the input box. And some people use this regularly, I think, in their classes. So let's click on it to see what it is. There it is. <laughs> It's just a plain white box and you're in the middle of class and you're like, oh, what, 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 how do I, what do I, how do I get rid of this? How do I get rid of this? Well, let's talk about how you can use it first. Um, you're going to come up here and click on the letters because you're going to want to type and you can choose a color and you can just talk, uh, you can just type. Hello, Alden. Okay, so, and you can choose different colors. How are you? Okay, um, there are, doesn't seem to be any options for the font that you're using, um, unless I'm mistaken about that, but I think it's just one font. Okay, so maybe you had to click that submit button that you just saw for the student to see it. Ah, I typed again and I press submit. Hmm, so you have to press submit, I think, in order for the student to see it. Like I said, I don't use this feature in my classroom. So there it is. Um, 
then you can also change the size. So you can see that the icon changes from the hand to the pencil feature, which you can use on this part of the PowerPoint. And then you can also see this big eye thing too. But what we want to do is find the hand and we want to click. And there is the piece de resistance, the X to get you out of here. So if you get in a situation where this box has popped up and you need to get rid of it, there's the X icon. So I'll show you that in just a moment. But I also want to show you how you can change the size. So there's the hand icon and we're going to scroll over top of the white box, any of the boxes, and it will allow you to change the size. And you can try this one and just be patient while it switches to this hand icon and you can make it this. So maybe you just want it at the top of your page. You can just make it small and then you can drag it with the hand icon up here. Maybe that's helpful for some teachers. So that is an option. That's how you move it. It has to have this white box around it. Okay. And, but let's just show you what happens when we want to close it. So you're getting on the hand icon, you're clicking on the X, you're clicking on the X. Oh, maybe it doesn't like my writing there. Clicking on the X, there we go. And you can just, do you want to delete it? Your save changes won't be saved. Yes, confirm, get that box off of my screen. <laughs> I can't wait to hear in the comments how you use this box. Maybe I'll learn something new and I'll be like, wow, I should have been using this all along. But um, I always use this screen. I like to draw on it. Um, I use it for rewards, um, whatever you want. This is the screen that I use for writing, for keeping score of games that we play all kinds of things. So I use that and then of course I type in the box too here. So doo -doo 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 -doo. you can type in there and you can also, since we're here, um, send a sticker to your student. Okay. These are all options here in the classroom. I hope this is so helpful. All right. That is the end of my screen recording. Guys, I hope this video was helpful. If you run into a problem with your input box, now you know how to solve the problem in a hurry because it can be stressful when you're in the middle of class and you've got this white box and it's uh, and you don't know how to get rid of it. Stay tuned for my next video next week and share this video if you think someone else might benefit from this information. Thank you so much. See you next time.